So today I'm finally doing a video that I've thought about doing for a while and in my head I've kind of said, you know, I'll get to that once I have this or I'll get to that once I have this set up. But uh, the truth is we're never really done. We're always tweaking our setups. We're always tweaking our pedal boards. And uh, today I'm gonna share with you where I'm currently at. And I'm gonna share with you my pedal board setup for Sunday mornings, my guitar setup, go through the signal chain, kind of demo some of the sounds for you. And also share with you kind of my future plans and things that I'm interested in doing um, down the line and kind of my philosophy behind this setup. So let's get into it. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Sunday Tone. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. YouTube tells me that 97% of the people who have been watching these videos have not yet subscribed, so please take a moment and do that. So I quickly want to run you all through the guitars I am currently using in my setup for Sunday mornings. Uh, and this first guitar that I have here is my PRS Silver Sky SE. Um, and I picked this up at the end of last year and I have really enjoyed it so far as a Strat style guitar. Um, I haven't had a Strat in a really long time and I think it's a really good option for the price point. I think it sounds really great uh, for worship. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. This is the one I'm using a lot lately. I think it's a really good guitar for the price, especially if you want something a little bit different from a Strat, but you still want a Strat kind of tone. Um, I think it's a great guitar. And the next guitar that I use kind of in my rotation is a Fender American Standard Telecaster. Um, and this is the guitar that I have had uh, the longest. Um, I've had it for about 15 years or so. Um, really love this guitar. Um, it's just that classic Tele sound that I have always loved. Um, it's been played a lot. It's been beaten up. It's uh, got some dings and some dents in it, but uh, it is all stock, stock pickups in this. And I love it. There's not much uh, negative to say about it. Um, I've always loved Telecasters and this one is great. And the last guitar that I have in my kind of rotation for playing on Sunday mornings is a Fender Mexican Jazzmaster. This is one of the modern player uh, Jazzmasters and this is the modern player special. Um, I got this a while ago, it's been a number of years and I really love it. It has hotter pickups in it than a normal Jazzmaster pickup. It's kind of like a hotter uh, P90 pickup. So I quickly want to give you an overview of my kind of history with pedal boards, kind of my philosophy with my current setup and kind of tell you where I'm going to go from there. So when I started out, I had a really large Pedal Train Pro, huge pedal board. I'll try and throw in some pictures of it in here. And over time, I kind of wanted to go with more of a minimal setup the last few years. I've kind of pared things down to just what I need for a certain Sunday. And I've gravitated towards changing things out week to week, depending on what the song calls for, whether it's a certain overdrive I want to use that's higher gain, or whether it's a different modulation pedal I want to put in or take out, depending on what the song needs, whether it's a pitch effect, whether it's a chorus, um, things like that. Um, and a few years ago, I even downsized even more and tried to fit everything onto a Pedal Train Nano, which I think was going a little bit too far. I couldn't really fit everything in there, but I did that for a little bit. And I think you can do that if you're leading and you're singing or if you are playing more rhythm and you're not really going into as much wet effects and as many different overdrives. But let's jump in and walk through the signal chain. All right, so I'm going to quickly walk you all through my current setup. And as you can see here, it's a pretty minimal setup. Um, but again, my philosophy is week to week, depending on the set list, depending on what I need here, I might swap in something like the Angry Charlie for a higher gain sound. 
I might swap in uh, the micro pog for a different flavor of uh, modulation. Um, and I have a couple different overdrives, uh, not all of them sitting here, but another one that I really like for higher gain and some mid gain stuff is the 1981 DRV. Um, so, I come straight in to the Morning Glory, and this is a pedal that I've had for a really long time. This is the oldest overdrive that I currently still have. Great blues breaker circuit, great more kind of transparent overdrive. Really love it. I think I'll never get rid of this pedal. I just like it that much. So depending on what I need week to week, this is usually the spot where I will swap in uh, a different higher gain overdrive or depending on uh, what I need. So from there I run down to the Jackson Audio Optimist uh, and this is the Corey Wong signature pedal. Uh, I have a whole video I've done demoing this pedal so you should check that out but it is a Klon circuit on the left and on the right you have a separate more transparent overdrive so you can stack those together. You also have this EQ here that is really nice to use in conjunction with either the Morning Glory or one of the sides of this. This EQ comes after all of that and is nice to kind of shape your sound. Uh, so from there, I go to the JHS Emperor um, and I'm using this currently as my modulation pedal on the board and I use it for uh, vibrato as well as chorus and uh, really like this pedal. It just sounds really good. Um, but sometimes, like I said, I'll switch out uh, for the Micropog, depending on what I'm doing that week. Um, so from the Emperor, we go all the way over to the volume pedal. I've had a bunch of different volume pedals over the years, uh, Ernie Ball volume pedals that have been modded, different versions of them, and they've all broken or had issues. So I currently have the Dunlop mini volume, and I've liked it really uh, a lot so far, and I haven't had any issues with it. So uh, that is what I'm currently using. Takes up uh, not much space and works really well. Um, so out of there, I have the tuner out going to the Polytune Mini, um, which I uh, have had this in other places on the board, but I like it here just so that it's always on. Um, I wish this version I have had a pass through um, so you could have it at the beginning of the board, but uh, and not in the tuner out, but that this version doesn't have that. That's where I currently have it. Um, but from the volume pedal, we go from there into the Tonex, which is a new pedal for me. And I have a demo video going through some of my favorite sounds in this. So you should check that out too, if you haven't checked that out already. But I'm currently using uh, Matchless Laurel Canyon sound uh, here. Um, and I also have a Vox AC30 that I really like right here. Um, but I have a bunch of really good tone models uh, set up in here that I really like. I have some uh, deluxe reverbs that I really like uh, and a couple other things. But from there, this is where the board switches to stereo um, and it comes down to the timeline. And the timeline I've had for a really long time and I've just you know, swapped in different delays that I've had over the years, but I really liked this one. And it's just a utility pedal. Like, you know, it has a bunch of different sounds in it that work really well. Uh, the dual sound, the tape sound, the analog sound, the digital sound, all really good. Um, and you can set your presets up and kind of um, bank through them, which is really easy. Yeah, and I, and I just really like it. So I might switch to something else in the future, but I think I'll always keep the timeline. It's just, um, it's a really good delay um, for, I think, the interface and the way that you can set things up with it, especially in a small setup like this. Interested to see what Strymon does in the future, whether they come out with a new version where you can have multiple algorithms together or stack delays together um, and see what they do with that. And with the timeline, we run stereo up to the Strymon Cloudburst. Uh, I also have a demo video on this pedal. I'm just kind of showing you some of the different sounds you can get out of it. Um, and I have the Strymon mini switch hooked up to the Cloudburst to allow me to switch between two different presets. So I have an ambient preset as well as a more subtle uh, preset. 
And I've also been using some of the reverbs in the Tonex pedal, um, which pr sound pretty good too. So some of my more subtle reverb right now I'm running actually on the amp uh, in Tonex. But underneath uh, the pedal board, I am using the Chox DC7 to power everything, and it's worked really well, and I uh, really like that power supply. All right, so I am gonna quickly demo for you some of the sounds I can get out of this uh, setup. So first starting out with the Morning Glory. Um, I use this kind of an, a, as a lower gain drive, um, but I think it sounds really good. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> So that sounds really good. I also use the Klon as kind of a higher gain sound. That sounds like this. And I will stack the side of the Optimist with it. sound of the Morning Glory stacked again with the Klon side of the Optimus. <laughs> um, so that's how I'll sometimes stack those as well. Um, and here you have the Emperor that I use for vibrato. Sounds a little bit like this. So that's really nice to give movement to some parts you're playing, whether you're playing something up high like this, like. Something like that. Uh, so that sounds really good as well. I sometimes use it for chorus as well. Then we go up to the Tone X um, and uh, I'm using the Matchless Laurel Canyon sound for that right now. Um, and then down to... So then we come down to the timeline. Um, and the timeline I have set up for kind of like a sound like this. set up my different uh, songs in here and kind of scroll through them. Um, but you can also, if I kind of stack a couple things in here um, and maybe throw on uh, some reverb, um, that's more ambient. You can get something more like this. So the delay from the timeline sounds really awesome. I love using it with uh, with the Cloudburst. The Cloudburst right now is on more of an ambient setting. Again, with using the ensemble setting on the Cloudburst, you can get more ambient sounds like this.
So yeah, you can get a lot of really cool sounds just with different combinations of these pedals and really utilizing the different sounds that they have within them. So that's a quick overview of the sounds you can get with this board setup. So that is my current setup right now and I'm really happy with it. But again, I still like to tweak things. I have plans for things I want to do in the future. Like I really want to add a compressor. I've had compressors in the past, but I just wasn't really happy with some of those. So I'm looking to add a compressor to my setup. I'm probably looking to move to a slightly larger board so I can fit in a few extra things like the compressor. Um, I'd also like to explore MIDI, something that I've really wanted to do for a few years to where I can set it up where I either have a controller that will allow me to switch between verse, chorus, you know, instrumental parts, doing multiple things without having to tap all over the place. So if you have recommendations for MIDI controllers or for compressors or for loop switchers, leave them in the comments. Let me know what I should try out and what should I plan for um, with going to a setup like that. So thanks for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel, like this video and leave a comment below, and I will see you all in the next one.